As part of my commitment to being transparent about the goings on on this channel, I am disclosing all uses of AI in my videos. In this video, YouTube's Ask AI is the subject matter, and I'm using Vegas Pro's AI text to speech to read out some of the AI responses. The rest of the video is 100% real and created by humans. Hello, people, I'm M. Page, and for this video, I thought I'd give y'all a little bit of old and a little bit of new. Now, what's something old? My reaction videos. What's something new? AI. Naturally, you would think that means I should make a video where AI reacts to videos. But that's just friggin' stupid! Who would want to watch that? So, I got a different idea. I'll react to AI. See, if you're a YouTube Premium member, you get access to YouTube Experiments. These are new features that YouTube is working on, and they get rolled out to Premium members first so people can test them and leave feedback. And one of the new features that YouTube added in its Experiments phase is um, Ask. What is Ask? Well, simply put, if you watch a video on YouTube, and specifically the Android app, you can press the ask button to bring up an AI chatting interface where you can ask it to summarize the video, recommend videos based on the video, and answer specific questions about the video. I dabbled it a little bit checking out some videos of myself and my friends and seeing what the AI makes of them and we learned a lot about our creative processes that day. So I figured what better way to make a video than to expand upon it and show the world how good or not so good the YouTube Ask AI can be. So let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is find a video. Any old video will do. Let's let's pick one of mine. Oh look, the Father's Day video. It's already got a hundred plus views. That's a good that's a good start. Does it have any ask feature on it? It does. So let's ask it something. Um let's start with one of the default questions. Summarize the Oh! I guess if you give it enough time, it auto-generates questions based on the video. Um, let's start with the easy one. Summarize the video. Let's see what the AI says. In this video, the creator reads a bluey book titled and quote, My dad is awesome dot and quote, the book highlights the qualities of a great father, such as being playful, supportive, and loving. The creator also shares personal anecdotes about their own father and reflects on the lessons he has taught them. As a special Father's Day gift, the creator makes a homemade card and gives their dad a copy of the book and a bandit plush. Wow, it's like the AI actually watches my videos. And like I said, it also auto-generates questions it thinks that it can answer based on the content of the video. Let's see, what can I ask it about this video? Um, why isn't the creator's dad in the video? The creator explains at the beginning of the video that their father is one of the, in quote, old fashioned types, in quote, who doesn't like to be filmed. They respect his privacy and therefore chose not to include him in the video. Okay, I'll be honest, I was not expecting the AI to pay attention, because who would want to pay attention to a simple little loser like me? But, you know what, I actually did like the way the AI talked about me, but enough about me. Let's find someone else's video and see what we can say. Let's try one of my friends. Uh, let's try Septile720. He is working on some big projects of his own and he helps me with my videos sometimes. He actually provides the compilations of chicken nugget shorts that I react to. Vlogging in the city with card battles all around. Now, I would love to sit here and watch an entire 50 minute video where he vlogs all over the city and maybe I'll do that off camera, but we are here for the AI experiment. So let's have the AI summarize this video. In this video, the creator travels to New York City to meet their friend, Gallery Gone, for the first time. Um, I don't think that's how you spell it, but okay. They visit the Nintendo store in Rockefeller Center before meeting up at the ice rink. They then engage in a pack battle with the Super Tempest Trainer Box, 
with Gallery Gone emerging victorious. The creator expresses their gratitude for the experience and reflects on the importance of meeting friends in person. Like, I get that it's kind of based on the same principles of ChatGPT, which means all their responses are phrased like school essays and stuff, and I guess that plays into beefing up the positive aspects of something. Uh, but reading that just makes me regret not sitting here for 50 minutes watching it but then again like who would want to watch a video of me reacting to a pack battle i know nothing of pokemon so let's go to one of the suggested questions what is the prize for the winner of the pack battle the video doesn't mention anything about a prize for the winner of the pack battle why even come up with that question if you don't even have a fucking answer let's look at another friend agent Fluffy. She is a professional voice actress on YouTube. She does fanfic readings and comic dubs and singing covers with her friends and she also accepts commissions. Here is a song cover of Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes the Musical. It has Agent Fluffy as the rookie and Wild Card VA as the hotshot? That is weird. Why am I seeing that? Uh, anyway, let's ask the AI to summarize the video. In this video, a group of people play the game and, quote, keep talking and nobody explodes, and, quote, they must defuse a bomb by following instructions from a manual. The bomb has various modules, including a timer, buttons, a power node, a lever, a crossword puzzle, a capture code, a Rubik's Cube, and wires. The players must work together to solve the puzzles and defuse the bomb before the timer runs out. Well, I guess it kind of summarized the uh, song really good. How does the song contribute to the overall experience of the video? The song in the video is a cover of the end quote, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, end quote, theme song. The cover of the theme song? I'm sorry, no. Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes does not have a theme song. This song was composed by the YouTube channel Random Encounters. It adds a fun and engaging element to the video, enhancing the overall experience for viewers. The lyrics provide a summary of the game's instructions and challenges, making it easier for viewers to follow along. Additionally, the upbeat melody and patchy lyrics create a sense of excitement and urgency, which complements the game's fast-paced and suspenseful nature. I will give the rest of the description credit, though. It does play up the uh, song as being a core element to understanding the game and also being fun and catchy to boot. There's a fanfic called Saying Goodbye. Let's see what this is. Summarize the video. In this video, the narrator reflects on their friendship with a pony named Winona. A pony named Winona? I'm sorry, no, not even close. Winona is the dog. They recall their time together, from their first meeting to Winona's heroic act of saving the narrator from Timberwolves. The narrator expresses their love for Winona and their gratitude for their friendship acknowledging that Winona was more than a friend to them. The video ends with the narrator saying goodbye and promising to visit Winona's grave again soon. Like, maybe this question corrects it. What was the relationship between the narrator and Winona? Close friends, being more than a friend or family member, express love. No mention of Winona being a dog! Like, Am I crazy? I'm gonna give it a hard one. Let's show it Digigex90. For those who don't know, Digigex90 is a very good friend of mine. He helped me with some videos and he has an ongoing uh, My Little Pony Yu-Gi-Oh! series called Yu-Gi-Oh! Equestria Duelists of the Cyber Realm. So I think we should see how the AI deals with that. Tragedy of the Rose. This one has less Yu-Gi-Oh! and more story-based material, so I'm kind of throwing the AI a bone so that it has something to latch onto. Let's summarize it. I can't help with that. Try asking something else? Really? You can come up with all these questions, but you can't summarize the stupid video? I can say it's stupid. I wrote a good chunk of it. 
I didn't, I don't intend for it to be stupid, but I feel stupid just doing anything in life in general. But moving on, uh, what happened to the narrator's home? The narrator's home was burned down in a fire when they were a child. They were rescued, but their parents died in the fire. Yes, I wrote this. So, I'm gonna know the answers to these because I wrote the video. Uh, who did the narrator meet in the basement? The narrator met their adoptive father, Grogar, in the basement. Grogar was a blue unicorn stallion who had been cursed into a goat form. Okay, yes, that is correct by the way she tells the story. Um, there is some elements of s secret stuff to that that I haven't been able to write in yet, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, what was Grogar's plan? I can't help with that. Then why do you even bother suggesting the stupid fucking question? You fucking stupid AI. What made the narrator feel different about Grogar? The narrator mentioned that while dueling an alicorn stallion, that f they felt like the stallion was in the right. This made them question Grogar's motives and wonder if he truly had their best interests at heart. Uh, okay, so yes, I wrote this too, and it was based off of previous events. Um... I am not at liberty to answer any more questions regarding this plot direction at this time, so I think we can do a different video now. This is one where he teamed up with my old buddy Wildcard, rest in peace, to uh, review Spider-Man for the PS1. Let's see what the AI makes of this. Summarize it. The creators of the video review the 1999 PlayStation game and quote, Spider-Man, and quote, they discuss the game's story, which involves Spider-Man teaming up with Venom to defeat a group of villains. They also highlight the game's challenging boss fights and clunky controls. Despite these issues, they praise the game's interesting story and engaging gameplay. Alright, cool, cool. We're off to a good start so far. Um... The most challenging boss in the game. The most challenging boss in the game is Carnage. They note that he is difficult to beat, even on normal difficulty, and that his attacks can be difficult to dodge. What is the main difference between the normal and kid modes? Oh, I remember this part of the video. The main difference between the normal and kid modes is the difficulty level. The boss battles are easier, half the puzzles of software players, and web swing is simplified. Kid mode omits portion of the level design that require thinking and strategy. <laughs> this AI knows what's up. <laughs> like, like when, you catch, when you can get an AI in a good day, it knows what's up. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it considers a good day, but, you know, you know, um, uh... What is the strategy for defeating Scorpion? We're getting some game tips now. The strategy for defeating Scorpion is to down him until he's helping zero and avoid his attacks. Keep a distance from him, use weapon attacks to slow him down. Additionally, it's helpful to lure him into running into barrels or walls to stun him. WRONG! The first half was correct, but taking into context the second half, I think it got confused and started to describe the Rhino fight. Alright, so yeah. Um, what do, what conclusions can I draw from this? Um, the AI definitely pays attention, and it can definitely describe great details when it wants to. I don't know yet what causes the AI to kind of go kaput in some of the videos, but what I can guess is that if you say a non-traditional name, it's going to try and pick up the... Uh, auto captions and base a name off of that so it's going to get some usernames wrong unless they are explicitly shown in the video like I do think it is a good supplement to like aid in your experience of watching a video I do not think it is a substitute for watching a video it's like the online quick notes or cliff notes or whatever for a book for a book report they can be helpful. They're no substitute for a real thing. You should use them to keep on track because there's no sense reading a book, or in this case watching a video, if you do not understand it. Yeah, this was fun. Uh, if you'd like to see me look at more videos through this Ask feature before it rolls out to the general public, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I really need to replace this memory card. If you're American, remember to vote. Check you later. Peace.